Today we get to experience the wonder of a snowflake. Like all forms of water, be it an ocean or a frozen pond, snowflakes are in constant flux. It's another good reminder of an idea so important to mindfulness. Impermanence. That is that everything is always changing in our minds, our bodies and the world around us. It's a bitter cold winter evening. As you breathe out, water vapor, warm from your lungs, condenses in the surrounding frigid air, forming a tiny cloud with every exhalation. Almost immediately, though, it begins to vanish. But the now invisible water molecules continue to rise, higher and higher, to combine with other water molecules present in the atmosphere. There, they condense to form small water droplets and eventually coalesce into a large cloud. At this point, these drops become super cooled to below freezing. And if the humidity is right, and one of these water droplets can align perfectly with another, crystallization occurs. Due to the electrochemical properties of a water molecule, when water freezes, the molecules come together in a hexagonal shape. Once a tiny hexagonal ice crystal has formed in the cloud, more water molecules readily freeze onto it, and it begins to grow arms from each of its six points. How the molecules arrange themselves is totally random. And with one snowflake being made up of 10 to the 19th water molecules, the probability that two snow crystals will form in exactly the same shape is extremely low. In fact, some scientists estimate there are more possible combinations than the number of snowflakes that have ever fallen in the history of the planet. So it's likely true that no two snowflakes are alike. In time, the snowflake becomes heavier and heavier. Soon, it can no longer be suspended in air, and it begins its fall through the atmosphere, encountering changing temperatures and varying humidities as it does. So even during a snowflake's descent, additional water molecules are added, which continue to change it. Although ice is clear, the light reflected or scattered by the crystalline surfaces of a snowflake makes it appear white. So as it gets closer to the ground, it stands out against dark objects, like evergreens and deciduous tree trunks. This makes opening your mouth to catch one on your tongue all the more easier. And as you do, it instantly melts into a water droplet, meaning on your next breath, it can be exhaled into the frosty air and in time become a raindrop, a cloud bank, or another snowflake again. 